This show is brought to you by Manscaped, the world's leader in below the waist grooming. AFTV James, um, that was good, wasn't it? That was, uh, the, the youngsters really shone in the game and um, Pepe he was under a lot of pressure going into this game. He, answered, you know, he dealt with the pressure well and I thought he was outstanding. Yeah, he was, he was really, really good today. Um, let's just get out of the way. Obviously, yes, it was Mulder, it was the Europa League, whatever, fine, we've said that. He was brilliant. He was really, really good. And there was a lot of pressure on him. I think everyone knew that the eyes were on him more than... It's one thing when you've got a £72 million price tag and the team's not doing well anyway. But after the red card and everything and the mount, people have been talking about him, us included, because you, know, mm. you have to talk about it. Um, but he was really, really good today. There was a... Um, a speed in his decision making I really enjoyed. If he was going to beat a man, it looked like he decided that early and he was going to take him on. If he was going to shoot, he knew, I'm going to get in a position, I'm going to hit one. And he, he hit a few good ones, some were blocked, but one hit the crossbar. Um, and then, you know, the goal was terrific. So he was brilliant. And he was the one who set up Willock for the assist for the Nelson goal as well. So, yeah, what a great way to answer your critics. Yeah, he was, he was everywhere. He was creative. He was the, the dangerous player on the mm. field. That's what I feel he can bring to Arsenal. That's why I think he can unlock teams. It's just a shame that we're not going to see that mm. in the Premier League for the next three games. Yeah, it's right. The word unlock, you just said, it's so true because I was sending the stats through to you and you could see like crosses, 12, you know, most pass in the opposition half, most shots, most everything you want your forward players to do. He was at the, the very top. And actually, that's not as easy as it sounds because he's playing off the right so the ball's not always down his side mm. but he but everything was going through him so it was, it was brilliant and he mixed it up between coming inside being out wide beating man he he was brilliant and I'm so happy for him because some people have said that maybe he's a bit of an introvert he's a bit shy I don't I don't know it's just sort of what you hear mm. um, so it's so nice to see him put out that kind of performance um, answer the critics. Nice on the back of Arteta backing him publicly as well. I know some people criticised Mikel for what he said after the uh, what was it the Leeds game, mm. but um, both have come out looking quite good and happy. I think after that, so yeah, yeah. pretty what, good. What was the formation we were playing today? Yeah, it looked like it actually looked like a four-two-three-one. Not that it would matter, Kevin Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting involved in that again. <laughs> Kevin's still after me, boy. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, well, uh, wait, what, what if it mattered, it um, I, I think it was a 4 2 3 1 with Lacazette in the 10, personally, um, which I think suited him because mm. it's actually, um, it's not, what he had to do wasn't too dissimilar to kind of what he's been doing anyway in terms of dropping deep to get the ball. But the difference is when there's another striker to occupy the defenders, he can do that and not have someone right behind him on the press. And he's got that chance to turn. Maybe it's the level of opposition. You've got to take that into account. But he played some nice passes. I think he was up there for key passes, or at least he was at, at half time. Um, he, he was connecting play. He was doing some nice things. I know I saw a lot of people on, especially on Twitter, were quite critical of him, but I thought Lacazette looked good. Um, yeah, I, thought I, thought, I thought he did all right. I mean, it wasn't anything stellar, mm. uh, but I thought he was fine. But um, the, other, the other player who really deserves a mention is um, Reese Nelson. I thought he looked, you know, we look at a player and you're like, you're, you're trying to prove a point here. Mm. And I really liked it. And, you know, sometimes you could think, oh, maybe you've taken a turn too many here. But it, it didn't matter because you, I loved the intention. I loved the way he was trying to make things happen. I thought he was really, really bright. Um, and I guess the last positive for me was the goals we scored, but mainly the last two in the way we had runners in beyond mm. with Willock and Smith Rowe. Now, I know they're young. I know they've still got to get to that level that Arteta might want from a Premier League regular. Um, but these Europa League games are really good. Emery was quite good at this. They're a good opportunity to try different things and maybe test what you want your long term to look like against opposition that will maybe allow you to do that a bit more freely. And to see goals where Smith Rowe's breaking and cuts it back, Willock's breaking and puts it into Nelson, who's made the run to the front post. All these little things are, are what I think Mikel wants the first team to be doing in the long term in the Premier League. It was definitely a feature of Guardiola's football at his best. Um, but it's not as easy against that level of opposition, especially when you don't have the right players. Mm. But today we saw that. The goals were really good. Three from open play. Um, and it looked like um, a small step, but a step in the direction of what maybe Arteta wants to see from us going forward. So a very good day all day around. Yeah, all <laughs> I've messed up the last bit, Robbie. <laughs> a very good day all round. Cool. Cheers. Robbie here from AFTV. We just got to say a big thank you to everybody who follows us across our various channels. Over a million followers on YouTube. Don't forget, you can now also catch us on Reddit. We're on Reddit, so get involved with us on Reddit and also on TikTok. Keep it AFTV, baby, right here.